In this tutorial I'll explain how to remove labels from a ggplot2 facet plot in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines 2 to 4 of the code. So if you run these lines of code you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new data frame object is appearing which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains six rows and three columns, which are called X, Y, and group. And the columns X and Y contain numeric values. And the third column is a grouping indicator, which is indicating which row corresponds to which group. Now let's assume that we want to draw these data with a ggplot2 package, then we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package as you can see in lines 6 and 7. I have installed the ggplot2 package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 7 of the code. And after running this line of code we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package such as ggplot, geomline and facetgrid as you can see in lines 9 to 11 of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of RStudio that a new plot object is appearing, which is called ggp. And we can draw this plot to the bottom right of RStudio by running line 12 of the code. So after running this line of code, you can see at the bottom right that we have created a facet grid plot. And as you can see on the right side of this plot, the labels of our groups are shown. So in this case, our groups are called A, B and C. Now let's assume that we want to remove those labels from our facet grid plot. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 14 and 15 of the code. So in line 14 of the code I'm first specifying the name of our plot object which is called ggp and then I'm adding to this the theme function and within the theme function I'm specifying the strip text y argument to be equal to element blank. So if you run lines 14 and 15 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our plot has been updated and this time our plot is shown without any labels. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.